Hi, my name is Steve Pearson, and uh, our farm is Sarben Farms in St. Paul, Oregon. So on our farm, you know, we're working very closely with Oregon State on different things we need to consider to put into our pastures. So one of the things that they've brought up is adding chicory and plantain to the pastures because apparently, and this I didn't know this, but apparently feeding high tannin feeds reduces the methane production in cows in their digestive system. How about that? Soil is where everything starts and it's all connected. It's a cycle. Whatever happens in the soil, it affects the animal, it affects us. If we can improve the soil microbial health, we know that our plants will be healthier. We started to work with a seed company um, in Oregon related to some of the forage varieties that they develop. And in particular, there was uh, one variety of chicory. So this particular chicory has got red color and the breeder thought that it might be related to an anthocyanin compound. It's in the blueberry and grapes and that has got some health benefits for the human beings. We thought that it might be the same for the animals. We found out that this particular chicory variety has got a high condensed tannin. They have got a huge potential to reduce the enteric methane emissions in cows. So we started incorporating other species into our pastures. So now if you look at our pastures, you know, we have perennial ryegrass, we have chicory plantain, different clovers that we've introduced. We've really started taking advantage of brassicas, which are annuals that grow very well during the hot parts of the season. Because we've gone from a single species or two species to more of a salad bar type um, opportunity for the cows. And it's really interesting to see how the cows will try to regulate what their intake is. You know, it's kind of an interesting thing. It's been my experience that, you know, cows don't lie. They will tell you what they need. You just got to listen to them.